In this video, we'll see about the date functions and time functions. Now, suppose for the date functions, if you want to display the date or you want to display the date and time, if you want to add or subtract days, months, years and weeks and so on. So how do you do that with the help of this function itself? So let us see that I've created some, I've written some code here and what I'll do is I've used message box everywhere so that I can directly display you the functions, what exactly they do is. Okay. So let's see the first one. If you see, I've written as message box date. So the date function will display today's date itself. Now, how come it knows that today's date, this date is connected to your system date itself. So you observe here and few functions are given. So I'll explain you one by one, all of them. So I'll just click on this run button and click on this run. Now, if you observe, this is the today's date, 9, 25, 2016, 25th of September, 2016, that is the date. So that has been executed. Why it has displayed in the form of message box? Because I've told him message box date. So it has given us date. Next one is given as now. This will give you date and time. Current time is right now as 12.34, 10 p.m. Whereas the date is 9.25, 2016. So now function will give you date and time both. Okay, I'll just click on okay. Next is given as message box date add. If you want to add something to your date, you can use this as date add. Date add given as, this is given as double quotes m, comma one, comma this date. So what is the syntax I'll tell you? Add the data which you want, okay? Month, days and weeks and years. So whatever you want, you have to type in double quotes. If you want month, you type as double quotes m, comma. How many months do you want to add? I want to add only one month, so I'll select here as one. If you want to add two months, you can add two months here. And this is the date on which I want to do the calculation. So I've written here a date as 1 13 2017. So if you want to add one month, if you want to add one month to this date, that is, it will become as 2 13 2017. So you see the date which is given as 2 13 2017. So remember double quotes M number of months you want to add and that's the date given on which you want to do the calculation. Same way if I click on OK 2 13 2017 click on OK. Next one will give me the date that will it will add one day to the same date 1 13 2017. So it will become as 1 14 2017. I'll click on OK. So you see here that is given as 1 14 2017. That means it has added one day to this particular date. I'll just click on OK. Now what does WW stands for? Double quotes WW message box date add that's a function. WW stands for giving adding a week to that particular date. So if you add 1 13 2017 one week, I've written as one week. So it will become as seven days after this 13th of Jan 2017. It should become as 20. So if you observe here, it's giving us 1 20 2017. So it has added seven days. That means one week to that particular date. Next one is given as YYYY. That means adding a year to the particular date. So if I add one year to 1 13 2017, it will become as 1 13 2018. I'll click on OK. If you observe 1 13 2018, that is working fine, right? So this was about the date function, adding months, dates, years and weeks. Four things we have done it here itself. Now, let us come to the time area. If you want to add some hours, minutes or seconds to your particular time, how do you do that? So you can see message box. I'll use the same function that is date add and I've given us double quotes H. H stands for R, number of hours. So that is given as one. I want to add one hour to this particular date and time. So if you observe here, 1 13, 2017, I've written as 9000. So that's the time given here. If I add one hour to this particular time, it will become as 10. Okay, 1 13, 2017, I'll just click on okay. So if you observe here, it is showing as 1 13, 2017 and 10 a.m. So that is the time which is added here. Now, you might be thinking if I want to add minutes, so it should be as M, right? Double quotes M. But no, because the M word is already taken by date to add the months. So here I cannot use for minutes as M. I have to use something else that is N. N for N, N I have given here. So N will add the number of minutes to your particular time. So right now 90000. So if I want to add one minute, so it will become as 901 using this N. Click on OK. And if you observe the difference here, 9000090100 that is am given so one minute i've added same stands for the seconds if you want to add one second s comma one comma and the date remember the date i've written in double quotes separated by comma all the parameters everything i've written in double quotes except the number of data i want to add okay i'll click on okay same stands for the second 90001 i'll click on okay right so this is the one thing. Now, if I want difference between two dates in terms of months and years, suppose 1-1-2016, 1-1-2017, that's a year date. 
if I want to calculate the difference, I can use this function as date difference. D-A-T-E, D-I-F-F, that's a date difference. I'll display directly in the form of message box. So let us see the thing. If I want the difference into years, I'll type double quotes, double Y, double Y. And I, this is the start date, that is the end date. So start date is 1-1-2016, purposely I've kept it simple. 1-1-2017, again that's a simple. So if you calculate the difference between the year, it becomes as one year. In terms of years if you want. So if you see, I've got the answer as one. So I'll just click on OK. Next is if I want the answer in number of months. OK, so I'll type double quotes M. Now this M and this M are same, but the date difference and date add, they both are different. So don't get confused. Now, if I want the difference in terms of month between 1-1-2016, 1-1-2017, there are 12 months. That's a gap of 12 months. So if you observe, I've got the answer as 12. I'll click on OK. Next is it's given as day, days, number of days between these two dates that is 1 1 2016 1 1 2017 either it can be 350 uh, 365 or 366 depending upon the year leap year or not i'll just click on okay so if you observe the difference between two dates in terms of days days it's nothing but 366 so this means this year is a leap year 2016 is a leap year so i'll just click on okay so these are the functions this is used to display the date display date and time add or you can say as add number of dates months, years and weeks to particular date, add hours, minutes and seconds to particular time and this one is to calculate difference between two dates in terms of years, months and second in years, months and dates itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand what is exactly a date function and how do we use it into our VB scripting. That's all for this video.